And good morning and welcome to another Friday, which means another Picks of the Week recording. This week, which was a short week thanks to Labor Day, uh, following uh, the, uh, the fantasy focus from last week, I decided this week to go into science fiction. So, New and Fantastic Week was the name of the theme. And we launched it with uh, the recent release, uh, very recent release, by my friends uh, over at uh, uh, Knight Errant Media and their Titan Effect role-playing game based on the Savage World system. Uh, so last, uh, basically, Titan Effect is uh, featuring the latest science fiction releases in the RPG world. This one features most postmodern espionage with superpowers, I think this piece of the sales text really tells you everything. Imagine Tom Clancy meets Metal Gear Solid meets the X-Men. Uh, it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, it deals with the superpowers. Uh, it does a little bit of update on the superpowers rules for Savage Worlds. And tailors them to a super spy X-Men uh, melange kind of thing. So that was our Tuesday picks. As Well, Monday I was off having burgers and brats, baby! Uh, so moving on to Tuesday... We picked up uh, Scum and Villainy. Uh, fantastic New Future Week. Uh, this is uh, one my friends have been playing during our Monday Night Savages gathering at the local game store and event space, Total Escape Games. Great store, great people, totally shameless plug. Based on the highly popular and innovative Blades in the Dark game, Scum and Villainy is just what it sounds like. Firefly and Edge of the Empire got together over drinks and, well, the rest is history. My friends have been having a really good time with this one, by the way, so it's definitely wise, uh, to, it's a totally good idea to check it out. Uh, the, the neat little opener uh, teaser text is kind of fun, too. Unwise deals, blaster fights, high adventure among the stars, welcome to the world of scum and villainy. So yeah, that one just, uh, my friends have been having a really good time with that one. Moving on, we pick up a, uh, a Starfinder uh, uh, pick, of one of the more recent ones coming out. Uh, this one is uh, part of the Nye Avalanche of Starfinder material falling onto the digital shells. This one launches a campaign featuring the crew of the Void Racer in a hard SF setting. The mystery of Station C-47 is perfect to give your group a single session of adventure and see what you think of Starfinder with the built-in elements to lead to a full-blown campaign. That campaign being the Star Sea Chronicles. Uh, this one is done by Dire Corgi, uh, which, I'm sorry, that's just an awesome idea for a game company. Get a little dire corgi boy in the game shield. That's so cool. So anyway, this looks like some good stuff. And if you are into the Starfinder thing, I think it'd be worth to grabbing it. Uh, then finally, we closed out today with uh, the granddaddy, for many people, of sci-fi settings. Or at least, at least one of them. And if you look back at the history of gaming, you have some pretty key science fiction settings that define the early days. Uh, of course, you know, the first Star Wars game, but before that even, you had Traveler and you had Warhammer. Now, at the start, Warhammer and Warhammer 40K are, were miniatures games, and it took a while for us to see them come into the RPG space. Uh, the guy who's the expert at that, Ross Watson, is the guy behind this one. So the final pick for our celebration of the Final Frontier, Fantastic New Future Week, is one of the most highly anticipated RPGs of the last few years. My brother Ross Watson heads up an all-star cast in bringing Wrath and Glory, the latest vehicle for taking up arms and warped powers to do battle in the universe of War Warhammer 40k. Featuring a brand new game system that leverages Ross's years of experience with the setting and the latest in RPG adventure and narrative design, this is your pathway to heroism and tragedy in a grim dark world of the far far future uh, I've been hearing nothing but great things about this by the way every time I see anybody playing it they're having a blast what's really key about this is that previous iterations had you kind of focus you are playing uh, you know the this particular type of character and you all kind of have to fall within that category here you've got space marines and commissars and uh, you know, regular uh, guardsmen and uh, you know, uh, mecha pr mechanic priests and and all of them, all are ready to be at the table at the same time. And I think this is what people were really looking for, and you know, Ross has given it to you. There's some really neat and innovative game mechanics in there. Some stuff I'm even proud to say I had a little hand in helping uh, give some advice and uh, uh, you know background uh, uh, interactions with to to see how it came together. So. Very proud of Ross on this. Very proud for Ulysses Spiel. And that's going to close out the week, uh, Fantastic New Future Week. As always, thank you for your support. If you click on the links and make purchases, there is an affiliate income stream for me, for which my family, and especially my dog, are grateful. And uh, 
if you have a suggestion for a theme week or a suggestion for a particular product, by all means, reach out and let me know. There's links everywhere to get a hold of me here on the Sean'sPickOfTheDay.com site. It's easy to contact me. Find me on Facebook or check us out on EvilBeagleGames.com. Thanks again, everyone. Happy gaming and have a great weekend.